All right, we are live with God versus VKOH. And in here with me is uh, Mad Dog, Scott Ray, and Joe. Some of the best commentators ever. Of course, I agree. Of course. <laughs> I'm a really bad commentator, if you don't know. We've heard. Just like everything else. And here we have the cab battle with Justin. I thought it was live. They're doing a re-roll. Looks like they had a uh, random hop in or something. I think it was Hobbit Luncher. Yeah. But I'm not claiming him, so he's a random at this point. Ignore the tag. So yeah, here we go. We got the uh, number two gods, um, which is made up, headed by zero. We got a lot of ballion on it. And the uh, number seven, victorious knights of honor. Am I getting this right? Valorious. Uh, Valor. Yeah, Valor. Yes. Valorious knights of honor. Oh, is there an I in there? It's not that I don't... It's definitely not that I don't care enough about the name I know to know it. It's Are you very sure? very advanced. Looks like the Knights of Honor are going all cap. Yeah, there's a lot of cap on the field. Are they uh, running live with this? Yeah, this is live. So this one this is going to be the first round. Both teams brought I didn't see a live call this match, time, but can you, uh, it didn't matter straight? last time, so... First kill goes to Master Smither. They got two nice maps in a row, which is kind of surprising. It's pretty rare on planes. Just one difference, this one has a lot of rocks in it, which can really hinder um, when you're heavy on the cav. Not only do they have to watch out for other cav to get stopped, now you got rocks thrown in there as a added um, obstacle. God taking the early lead. Well, here definitely God's going to have the advantage with the jab cav. The Swadians will get gray lances, but... I mean, free jazz from the Nords. The Nords are almost out of jazz. So it comes down to not stopping people like that. <laughs> A lot of team play. <laughs> TK? Oh. Took down two enemies, but then taken down by his teammates. I know how that goes. So uh, who's uh, three piss guns? I feel like he's What's someone it? I should know for <laughs> a different <laughs> name. It's actually Pax Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, his alter ego. It um, engages him with power or something, I'm not sure. His brother, actually. Oh, right, right. Nord Cav take the first round. God has six calves, seven calves, so God is all cav. And the Valorious ones have taken two ground for two infantry and a crossbow. Three. One of their troops has a long all pike and the other one has a regular one. It's a smart move as long as their cab doesn't go out and get eaten up by the jazz. Looks like somebody gave Angus a great land. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> that's going to be something dangerous to watch your back for. And yeah, but that's bad. Yeah, two Ooh. infantry completely ignored that, that jazz throw. Great lance, that's rough. This should be mopped up pretty soon. Yeah, now they can completely ignore that ground troop and finish off the rest of the horses. They were pretty good. They might want to change it up to more ground troops because this ain't working. Got 
kind of interesting from one tournament to the next. The uh, second nasty season, season, uh, basically the God team was struggling, and uh, Catholic's team was was doing pretty well, making it into the finals. And here, uh, Gods have come in with the number two seed, and and um, Eternals team uh, number seven. I think they had a couple of roster changes that that uh, changed it up. But this is the playoffs, so John anything can happen. On that team? Joe, were you on that team too? Crap. Um, for the first season, yes, I think me, John, and Braveheart were the only. Uh, they better start hitting these cab with those expos if they're gonna win. Yeah, it's a good idea to drop those infantry and just do all crossbows. Especially if that, that first kill with a Great Lance is just completely ignored by the infantry. It makes them not quite as useful. It's tough you guys to make cavalry for their cav skills. Mass charred. It's four down so far. The captain with the jabs of justice. Yeah. <laughs> that was a quick round. I tell you, the uh, knights were set up, but uh, God just kind of surrounded them and crashed on them all at once. Yeah, those coordinated uh, the cab got away from the end. at time, those definitely pay off. It's kind of one of those things you're counting on your cav to keep them off of you, but you don't have enough to stop seven cav coming at you. Yeah. Looks like all Looks the like... Uh, ground troops were given up on. It's back to all cav. It's going well for him so far. Yeah. Like yeah, they no. keep playing smart. It's two down for gods. Maybe they surprised him. I think there was still some people sitting at spawn or something. That's what it looked like. Yep. Angus gets stopped, but they can't capitalize on it. Oh, just messed with that great lance. Wow, that was a great throw Cause. by Zero. Zero going calf? What is this? <laughs> RP. And down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's make Cav around if you get stopped. You unit unit that, that horse was pretty cursed. I think he was the third person to die on it in 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> it's 3 to 2 right now. Looks like God's almost out of jazz. But they still have great lances. Ooh. Eternal got Catholic got a good hit on uh, Angus. Oh, uh, that was unexpected. Yep. And Angus is on the ground. That's not surprising. Looks like they're backing off. Yeah, trying to slow it down a little bit. You know, I almost fear a, a Cav player on the ground more than I do when they're on their horse. And if they double up on it, they can get him to swing that Great Lance and take advantage. They might be playing Master really of the Field. Really focus on taking Black Black's horse down before. Looks like if you do that, that gives you the whole map. It. Yeah, looks like they're gonna try and wait till Master. Yeah, particularly they now they're going to the other side of the map and spreading out. Yeah, it goes for him. Black's definitely giving them enough cushion to where they could all team up on him and at least take the horse down. Yeah. 
Making sure they got a plan. As close as he can to the middle of the map. So he can get to the flag as fast as possible, which is very smart. He is <laughs> so close to death, though. It's... Although two of the, uh, two of the VKOH team are close to death as well. Oh, oh that hurts. The flag spawned where? Side. Right where, uh... Way over on the right. side. Wow. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, wow. Yes, unfortunate. Cut on tape. Apparently one of the Valorious players had a heart attack. And could <laughs> no longer continue. <laughs> He's... He saw how far the flag was, he was like, oh my god. They need to kill that horse. So I, I have to get off my horse to get to the flag, and then I might have to do some exercise. That'd be terrible. Well, that's probably what killed him. 1DC for the, the thought side of to turn tremendously. Yes. Most unfortunate. There it goes. Oh, that's 4 0. Looks like they're back in the game, though, with uh, 7 again. It's not hard to recognize. I, I definitely feel like Team W is out of, out of their comfort zone, and this isn't where they want to yeah. be playing at all. But they love random planes and playing Cav. Are these bushes, uh, do they stop cab or are they just decorative? They look decorative. They're just decorative. Yeah. Yeah, you can roll right through them. Can you uh, toss uh, like streamer again? Natural. Looks like knights are going with four archers, two cab, and an infantry. And it looks like gods are all cav again. Definitely trying to leverage that. With all those archers, they can control whatever part of the map they're near. Yeah, and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and apologize to both teams for my huge amount of ghosting that's going on. I want to apologize. Favorites, so. They definitely uh, won the round quite cleanly until the last one. Yeah, that was unfortunate, Rare and DC. I'm really yeah, surprised they had a to win that round. I'm really surprised to see TMW sitting on the ground with so many archers. All if archers. they're just going to sit in the corner of the map, it's going to go to Master. I don't think it's they already going to master. Good spot. Uh, I think those swanning cav just tear these archers apart, though. That Catholic wasting all of his arrows. Yeah, it doesn't well, make sense to wait for master, think... though. With all cab against pretty much all ground, because they have, gonna have to run unless they're going to charge all of them. Mm -hmm. That's the and probably one of the best spot. things. Best things Team W can do here, and I really don't think they want to try and meet cab for cab. And infantry is just not going to get it done. So if they can keep their archers alive. They have a nice have a hit by Catholic. Probably only. Key's gonna be their cav. They're gonna have to be ready to, when those archers take horses down, they're gonna have to be ready to snatch up that kill, or else you're gonna get ground um, melee troops in amongst those archers, and then you have a real tough time. 
Yeah, the, the Vakos calves should be over there skirmishing with their jabs. Get some of those calf lower. Master should spawn any time now. Oh, great spot. And it spawns in a good place for Valorius. Yep. Pretty cool. It's going to be pretty close to the edge of the map. Yeah, yep. it looks like this the caver's still going to be able to get there in time, though. The caver coming in from the back, taking a lot of shots. A couple of them are down, but... Those archers have got to get together. No, they're just you know, all spread out and not helping mm -hmm. each other. Yeah, that's the hardest thing about a master, even if it's close to you, if you're not right on top of it. You get all spread out trying to get there. You got this many calves, it's just hard. That teamwork. Whose map choice was this? This yeah. was guns. Okay. Good kills by the night. You're not gonna win the match soon. I'm gonna get on master soon. There's only a minute left. It's kind of one of those you doubt you're gonna win. Well, at this point, you're <laughs> definitely not gonna win. But you want to take as many as you can. Keep the armor low. It's almost up. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, got the horse. Aw. Oh, if you would have been able to shoot Angus. He's got to stay on that flag or they're going to raise it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, flagged up. Oh, no and way. Bugged. You guys seen the uh, statistics of European on European uh, hate crimes <laughs> recently? He's got to kill No, he oh, can't get him. Out. Oh, that was smart to yeah, back he up. Can't get it. That was really smart. Jeez. No, oh, flag's not capped yet. If he moves off the flag, it's going to cap. Ah, nice. That doesn't make any sense. That's the first map. Yep, looks like they're calling early and not play early, not playing it out. Mad Dog told the guides the location of the master, so that's why they want it, according to Nom Nom. <laughs> and I used my sec super secret uh, kick to get rid of Ruin in the last round on the previous map. You said it was a heart attack. What kind of doctor are you? I'm the worst kind of person like that. There's always the point where I look at this, teams just fighting each other, I'm like, less fighting, more map treatment. So if, uh, how else do we have time to get our popcorn? If EKOH picks up a, um, a small map, a closed one, then Rodex are going to be up against a team other than Nords. This is uh, this will be interesting. Let's see what happens here. Nords or Swadia. Yeah. Probably be looking at Rodox. Probably. Yeah. Wow. That village inside. That's, well, that's probably the best choice for sitting there with Vagers, though, right? Because 
Zoom Codex is probably going to be chosen by doing well. By God, so QH is probably going to want. They're playing right. either way. Oh wow! Leaving Codex for camping the tower. <laughs> oh please, let us see some camping the tower. <laughs> well, it's his village, so. <laughs> And camp They're in the back post roof. Up on rooftop. This is gonna be really hard for God, in my opinion. The big thing about village is when you have seven people, you can't stop them from coming in. So, yeah. you know, it, it's not like a siege where you have 20, 25 people and you can cover every exit. If if you're heavy at bag gate, that means fronts unwatched. Same thing with houses or front ladders. So. With this many people, you know, there's no way you can really stop someone from getting inside. Well, this uh, VKOH had had a pretty good strategy against KOA when they did village inside against us. So. From what I remember, they tend to stay towards the uh, open door, the open gate. And um, I don't know if that's front or back or whatever. That always confuses me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think that's as far as I know, fronts. Yeah, fronts always been the one with the portcullis that you can actually engage. Okay, and so that would back be the back is the one gate, with the, the door slightly. Yeah. yeah. But they end up uh, hanging out in that alley in between that back gate and the far, the far back gate, <laughs> like the side gate. Bar. Yeah. And even if they uh, come in the front, then. They're able to stage up top, so they uh, go up top in the in the middle, like on top of the houses. They got one guy moving up into mid tower. My spawn looks like it's gonna be live. Looks like God is slow getting out of spawn. Oh, you gave a uh, ruin streamer. If he has that, he can't spawn. Just so you're aware. Interesting. God, fighting on houses. Igor killing another teammate. <laughs> I haven't seen that enough tonight. Yeah, getting a whole team in one spot. Man, they're staying together really well. And, and see, that's that's the thing. If you if you try and cover every entrance, then you're going to be splitting, which means if they all show up, then you're completely overwhelmed. Did Igor get up there by, like, jumping on the side? Yes. That's amazing. I never thought, I never thought of that before. He probably glitched or turned on his axe or something. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so I went right through him. Ooh. Emperor Black Tide. Showing his leadership skills. For a brief moment. Yeah, it should probably be pointed out that the uh, Knights have three Europeans on their team, which makes melee not their strongest suit. Although, I'll buy it. All three of these guys are nothing to uh, not bad yeah, at all they, with their ping. They play often enough on US servers that they are well-versed. <laughs> well-versed in uh, melee with high ping, so... Hopefully VKOH will stick together this time. God's going half and half, half to front, half to side. Yeah, they're splitting again. Phil just kind of been an interesting map. Used to be everyone played it, and then no one played it, and now it uh, just comes in here and there. 
I think a lot of people lose how they want to fight on it because they don't do it very often. Uh, you know, it's it's really You're interesting to see that VQH use a completely different strategy this time. Like, they're really spread out, and it shows because Valiant just can stay together and just swarm. Yeah, they're all over the map now. Yeah. And like you said, BKUH is trying to prevent them from entering the walls. Correct. And you notice gods are pretty infantry heavy, so they're very focused on moving around the map. They don't want to get into some kind of arch duel uh, with crossbows from the inside. That's a smart move. Got them spread, and they got the angles of fire. If they can make the shots, and they can really capitalize on this. Yeah. Losing the melee battles probably because of the high ping, like you mentioned. Or I'm sure that has a factor in it. It's a good excuse, oh, yeah, regardless, right? <laughs> That's right. Three on three right now. It's nothing else. Nothing else will give them the excuse. Miss that shot. That's going to be a problem. Wait. So, if he doesn't get in the glitch spot. That's the thing, especially with crossbows. I mean, you really don't want to get in melee. Versus scimitar. Especially or against yeah. Lamellar. Yeah. yeah. If you get a sword, you just glance all over the place. If you get a pick, you're going to be completely outranged. Looks like maybe four crossbows, three imp uh, for VKOH. Still seeing a yeah, really on. wide yeah. spread here. And Clockwise being really, really aggressive as a crossbow. Oh, yeah. Button. Good shot, Cal. Oh, oh wow. wow. Look at that. Shot. That's beautiful. Clockwise getting shots off. Oh. Guys Unfortunately, they forced, right forced the move, and there's no way to take angle. advantage of it on the inside. Yeah, they got the flank, Catholic. Catholic's got to stay alive. Yeah, half their team's engaged yeah. by the time they get there. Doing a good job distracting them and staying alive. KOH doing a better job working together this time. Yeah, they are. Yeah. 4v3. I think, I think simply because Clockwise ended up going around and wasn't caught there at the, at the side, they, they were closer together the whole map, the whole round, which is good. Made some crucial shots. Uh, yeah. Made people take some damage. That's what you need to do. Yeah, that's the thing. If most of your composition is going to be crossbows, and they're going to have to be shooting people. Yeah, I mean, just sitting there, almost defenseless against that scimitar. <laughs> you can find the scimitar in the high ping, like you don't have a chance to swing back. <laughs> yeah. Just probably just glance off the armor and die anyway. Exactly. 2v2, the tension mounts. Good. Yeah, it was a great shot. Bellion is Better out pick up of... The... Oh, he's got a scimitar. 
they're out of jabs. So hopefully, there you go, uh, 2v1 him while he's up that far. Uh, they're trying to get up high, I guess. That's really smart. smart. Move. Black Tide's in a great spot. As long as Angus doesn't find a jab. Oh, there's a jab. <laughs> there's always a jab. Right. And of course, Angus gets to pull his master strategy of wait till master. Look at an S health bar, he doesn't have much of a choice there. And there's Master in the alleys. I don't know why they split up. I don't know. I mean, that Master spawn definitely help God, helps uh, gods out more than it does yeah. uh, VKOH. Pulls him off of that defensive position. Gets him down in the melee. Oh, I guess there's a weapon out. Look at that. They're not even going for the flag, which is interesting. That gives him about well, another 30 it. seconds. Yep. There it goes. Yep. If they can get that 2v1, it should go a lot better for them. Flag's about halfway up. That's kind of thing, we'll two minutes. To... Oh. oh, there he goes. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't even need to kill the enemy. I just die at his feet. The fainting, the glancing. Mm -hmm. The not swinging. The scimitar wins. Yeah. It's kind of the thing with two minutes. Yeah, I think so. Two minutes, you can almost never count on capping the, the flag. It's almost better just to, to stay together and uh, catch them in the alleys and melee. That was pretty dangerous. Been better off doing double melee. Yeah, I mean, uh, one TK, and uh, that could have went very differently. One TK reach, less. Like, they got in these positions really late. They're spread out again. Yeah, once again, that's, that's spawning without without a plan. That really hurts you, because if you're even, like, 10 seconds behind They've got... the, the spot, then you just... Just lose out. They got God in a bad spot right now. They've got him yeah, split. They, if they can take him through back gate right now. Mm -hmm. But they're disengaging, but they're still split up. So if they start running and regroup, it should go better. There's an archer down. The other one's being pressed. More team kill. WKOH is the one that split. Man, getting some good shots. Great in. shots. Man's about to get lit up from the side, though. More than likely. Yeah. They should be over that ladder by now. Wow, they went to front gate. Wow, that's way out of position. It's like Unix is chasing Catholic along the wall. Yeah, they're out on a you know Saturday night run. <laughs> Long walks by village wall. It's kind of cute. Someone take a picture. Cold underscore John has Might left the server. Might be something big in the making. Relationship budding. Yeah. He, both of them just dropped off the ladder. Ooh. Outranged. Cole uh. underscore John has joined the channel. 
3v3, yep, 3v2. Oh. Yeah, that trip Doesn't around the outside like definitely getting Communicating very well. And oh, another TK. Those TKs, that's it. Ping, right? Ping. Yep, hi, Ping. <laughs> definitely playing a factor. So technically, technically that's it. Yeah. Okay. They're yep. it there. No need to swap. It's over. Although they could. Game oh, yeah. yep. over. Cause these uh, short and sweet. these map points don't count for the uh, the finals, right? Yeah, no, that was that was mainly just for the seeding. You, know, yeah. you can actually see uh, Gods and WK. They had the same um, score throughout the season, but WK had one extra map point, which uh, gave them the, the uh, first seed. Yeah, this is just uh, single elimination, so Gods advance. Um, VKOH, unfortunately, is knocked down. Is there always next season, John? <laughs> Why not? Never know. We have hope of a next season, people. You kind of heard it here first. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> No one brings you lack of commitment like uh, <laughs> North America community streams. Number one source. To find out what could be going on. Uh, thanks again to the commentators. We've got Mad Dog, Scott Ray, Joe, and John here. And we'll see you yeah, guys thanks tomorrow night. for putting this together. Yep, good luck in your match tomorrow. How do you have to even mention Scott Ray? He's so Thank bad. you. Thank you. <laughs>